Okay, let's see how to split a hard drive into two. So if I open a file explorer window, here's a hard drive. This is one SSD drive and it's 240 gigabytes and I want to split it in two and it should be, let's say drive I and let's say drive G. Okay, and I want to use a specific program. Let's say mini tool partition, mini tool partition wizard partitionwizard.com pass free partition let's try the first one so mini tool partition wizard free let's download it and let's save it okay it's up here in the upper right corner in firefox so click on it to start it run it okay let's minimize that window and let's install the program itself so okay and partition wizard yes i want that one shadow maker i don't want that one and participating customer i don't want that one so i'm installing only this partitioning software so next next and yes install it i think i installed it once and it's still somewhere there Okay, launch the program itself, finish. Yeah, 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 just close this browser windows. So here's the program itself, mini tool parti partition wizard. And you have this slider, let's move it up. Okay, so where's that hard drive? It's this one, it's my Samsung. We have a message here, close that window. So let's split this partition into two. You have to right click on that one and it has a split up here so split now grab that center part and place it somewhere in the center so that those two sizes will be identical so that's the partition that i'm splitting and it will be the first partition and the second partition so we should increase that number somewhere there something like that so it's roughly identical and click OK. So it will look like this, one partition and the other one. So it will be split in two, but we have to click apply in the lower left corner to apply those changes. Close all other applications. OK, just click yes. And depending on the size and the speed of your disk, it's already finished, but <laughs> if you are using a mechanical drive, then it will be much slower and if the data has to be moved then it will be much slower and if it's a large multiple terabyte drives it can take hours or maybe an entire day i'm not sure so since this is an ssd and there is not much data on it it's already finished okay let's close the program quit Let's check it in File Explorer, so it's H and I. This does not have a name, that does has have a name. So let's go back to Mini Tool Partition Wizard again. Start it, maximize it, make it larger, close that message. So this has a name, Samsung 240, and that does not have one. So right click on this one and label and let's get that name copy it by the way we can type in let's say first here and close it with ok so i just changed the name the label of the drive let's do the same thing with this one also let's check it in file explorer so this is called just local drive the other one has a name samsung it was not applied yet, so the first does not appear. So right click on the second partition, label again, paste in that name, and I want to type second, so I know that's the second half of that hard drive. Okay, and apply in the lower left corner, yes. And the name was applied. And in File Explorer, it's H and Y. Okay, so we should change the drive letter also so that the first would be here and the second would be here. So r click on that drive and change letter. 
and let's choose let's say J okay and for this one right click and change letter and I and okay and apply yes but that's not good I think refresh so I is before J that's not too clever so <laughs> okay once again so change letter let's put it to something else M and let's put here I so change letter uh, oh let's make it H okay and then this change letter and I okay so I is before J apply it okay and now refresh everything it's not here so let's close it and close it quit open it again and now it's okay so the first is the first the second is the second okay so that's how to split a drive inside I mean using Minitool partition wizard into two now both of them are identical so the size of this one is here and the size of that one properties it's there and they are roughly identical 125 gigabytes 124 gigabytes the blue is the use space and that's only on the first drive okay that's it thanks for watching and bye bye